We are in the space plane hangar, and I'm going to go ahead and open up. <laughs> You'll have to watch my live streams if you want to see that one. It's in the first and second at the very end, so there you go. All right, so as you can see, Expecto Vitolium here doesn't look that neat. It's just a, a plane with a bay and some things on it. So let's go ahead and try this out. As you can see, it takes off like you'd, you would expect a uh, VTOL to take off. So let's go ahead and put the gear up, turn the main engines on, get it going, and then you'll see why this is awesome. Now as you can see, there's some decouplers right here. If I go ahead and hover over them, you can see that they are one for each VTOL engine. So let's go ahead and press those. Shoot, it cut the engines, but I, that's fine, you know, because we can go ahead and rotate these engines up. Restart that and try it again. There we go. And also I forgot to press 2. Boom. So now they're stirred away and we can go ahead and press 1. And we're good. Look at that. It's just a regular cargo plane, even though the entire cargo space is taken up by those engines. Not particularly horrible. So now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and open that again. Go ahead and slow down, because it needs to be slowed down in order for this to not like jump everywhere. We're going to go ahead and undock. Undock. Speed up again just so we uh, have some velocity, and we can rotate it. And it should, hopefully, lock. And I need to restart that engine. And it should. This one I have trouble with sometimes, but uh, oh boy, it's stuck. There we go. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this engine off. Turn this engine off. And we can restart our VTOL engines. Now the thing is, I don't like that intake. I haven't changed that. Screw it, whatever. So there you go. Expecto Vitolium. And look, I even landed it up on this building. Alright, so this is the flying chicken. Basically, it uses the same engine as the other craft, but... But... There's no but. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch it. And we're going to uh, point it forward. Which, I mean, it already is. It's just going up. So we're going to tip it forward a little bit. I'm not going to press the gear yet, though, because I have a special action group assigned. Now, if you can see up here, and if you haven't guessed it already, there's sepatrons. And what these sepatrons are doing is they are acting like little jets, but they're off-center of this engine. So they're going to push it forward. And then there's this decoupler, which I've moved from the original one, the uh, Expecto Vitolium. And it has this sepatron on it. So what do you think happens when I press gear? Let's try it. Boom. Two buttons. Gear and Z. So now I've got this really awesome craft that flies really well, but I can take off in really small spaces. And this uh, movement mechanism works at any speed under, I think, 30 meters a second is what I tested to, but I haven't fully tested it, so it could be used on anything. I have it in a prefab which basically just means that I can pop it in whenever I want and use it. Buzz the tower. So it's not too shabby. The only thing is with this plane, I haven't yet figured out how I'm going to do uh, relocking of the mechanism, unfortunately. But we'll see how that goes. 
The thing is, it kept getting stuck when I locked it, so I had to un undo that. But it works. It's fine. Plus, I'd, I'd lose all my forward speed if I did that. I'd have to glide down pretty far in order to convert it to a VTOL. But, nevertheless, I could always add more Sepatrons and try it again. So as you can see, it's a very fun plane to fly. And I may put a download link up for it. But, you know, only if you guys want it. Maybe Veos would fly it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try it here. I don't know if it would actually be able to convert here. Yeah, I have enough speed. Not too shabby. Oops. Well, they are Kerbals. So I'm going to go ahead and get some cool shots of this flying around. Oops. Hey, not too shabby. And you can taxi too, in VTOL mode. Now the question is, does it work at a standstill? And the answer is, yes it does. question is, does it fly at a standstill? And the answer is, yes it does. Alright, thank you guys for watching, this has been CTJet99, signing off, peace!